try and do a real quick video here. I see a lot of guys do it. I'm going to do it for maybe my truck or just like what you should do. My top five like favorite mods, best mods, whatever you want to call it for a first gen. Now, as soon as I got my truck and on the drive home, I realized that I couldn't see crap and it was it was raining. I drove it like four and a half hours home. It was raining and I mean it was terrible. So literally the next day I ordered these and they appear as just a Sylvania stock headlight replacement and that's my favorite part. I wanted a clear headlight with a chrome background on a black background. Doesn't fit the truck. I think it's pretty dumb to be honest. I'm not big on black stuff. I don't just don't get it. I don't like the crazy looking headlights. I'm not a fan of the truck light headlights. Yeah, they're bright. They don't do anything for me. They're expensive. They don't look good. Just not a fan. And all the other ones have these halo things around the edges. And like all the ones on eBay and they look terrible. Um, they're not wor even worth wiring up in my opinion. Uh, some of these headlights I do like that are aftermarket that are crazy look. I think they're crazy looking but I also think they look very good are Derek's. Uh, if you don't follow him already his name on Instagram is at first gen Cummins. Uh, those headlights are cool. He had them built I guess. They they look slick. They, they, uh, they did a good job on them. Um, so yeah. My first upgrade is these. I will put, I'm putting all the links in the description of everything I'm going to name off. And especially with these lights, they were like 60 bucks on eBay. And yeah, people are like, oh, eBay stuff. Yeah, no, my trucks are built on eBay. Not performance parts, but looks wise, you can't beat this. So they're like 60 bucks, 60 to 70, I believe, on eBay. Truck lights are like 230. And these actually put out more lumens. I don't care where the concentrated light is, I can adjust that. So I put them in, adjusted them. They work better than, and they're brighter. They are 8,000 lumens is the gross lumen count on them. And I think they look killer. They're super bright, they work well. I've got 35% on the windshield, so helps a lot with that. If you had stock headlights with the first gen windshield tint, you know, don't worry about seeing because you ain't. All right, so there's the first one. That was a must. I couldn't see. Drivability is a huge thing to me. So the next, well, the first thing, I did all lights. I did all that, but they're not in my top ones. Headlights are for sure in my top. I'll do another video on all my other lights. But So there's number one. Now we're going to get into performance parts, because as you guys can tell from the looks of my truck, I'm all about performance. I I would love to have a paint job. I don't have another vehicle. It'd be the guy that I want to paint it is going to take six weeks to paint it. I want it done right. So I don't have another vehicle. I ain't walking for six weeks. So that's why I have a compound turbo set up. Now I love the fuel. I love, I mean, I having a little bit of horsepower in one of these things is way better than having a lot of horsepower in another truck, in my opinion. I mean, it's like riding a bald eagle bareback but so the first thing in my book to do is everybody's like oh crank your pump no very first thing i would do go on craigslist go on facebook marketplace something get you if you have a stock turbo on yours get you an hx35 or an he351 i would go hx35 it is one heck of a little upgrade my buddy dre lawrence actually kept the, I believe the H1C compressor housing and threw an HX35 uh, exhaust housing on the back and it works great. He says he loves it. So that works too, but go get you a cheap HX35. If Make sure it's good. If not, grab your rebuild kit. Not a big deal. But that is a very nice little drop in upgrade. Drops right in. You might have to get a different exhaust flange for the downpipe, but it is way worth it. The, H1Cs are so laggy. The exhaust housings are like a, they can be all the way up to an 18 or a 21 CM exhaust housing, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't even care for H1Cs. I don't pay any attention to them. HX35s are 12 CM, I believe, and they spool way faster. 
great upgrade. So that's my number two. Go get you an HX35 or an HE351. HE351, you will get some like a little bit better performance, but you'll have to get other things to make it fit. It's not bolt right up. And there's tons of forums on that, tons of write ups. You can find it. I don't have one, so I won't be able to tell you. Next, number three. I'm going to count these are the same thing because I ordered them together. Um, and that would be a fuel pin and governor spring. Let me tell you, whenever you put those in, it feels like a totally different truck. So you can get a fuel pin from pretty much anywhere. I would go a Denny stage one or two, either one, fuel pin. Uh, the Hungry Diesel sells them. That's up to you if you don't like them. That's a whole other thing, but Denny T-Series is a good fuel pin. Um, governor spring. You, you can be simple like everybody else. Go 3200. Personally, I have a 4200 governor spring. It's not in yet. I've got to put it in still because I'm behind the game. But I have a 4200 spring. Get a 3800. There's no reason you shouldn't. It's not going to ruin your valve train by going up to a 3800. You're, whenever you get a 3200 governor, RPM governor spring, you're not getting fuel all the way to 3200 RPM. It's just not happening. If you get a 3800 RPM governor spring, you're probably going to get the full fuel till 3200 RPMs. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you're not going to get that many, that, that much fuel to that RPM pretty much. It's hard to explain. A lot of you guys will know exactly what I'm saying. But fuel pin governor spring and your free upgrades. I mean, there's a lot of potential in that turn down pump. I just turned mine up and with Derek, it feels like a completely different truck. Uh, another thing, I'm not counting this because I don't have it yet. I'm going to get it. A uh, longer fuel screw from the Hungry Diesel. They sell one, get you one of those probably. I, I don't know. I don't have one yet. If you're on a non-intercooled truck, don't worry about it. Those will run away. I mean, it, there's something different about the pumps. Intercooled trucks, you can bur bury that screw to as far as it will go and it might not run away. So there's some of that stuff. So get your free upgrades. That, just from what I've named so far, that could get you... I mean, my buddy Cole, and people say he should be making more. I mean, he's got a lot of that stuff. He's got an HE351. He's making 290, 295 instead of the stock 160 or whatever the heck it is. So that goes a long way. All right, that was number three. So, so far we got the headlights, get you some LEDs, uh, HX35, fuel pin and governor spring. Those were big ones to me. All right, next, it depends if you're gonna use the truck. Now, with all this being said, you gotta have supporting mods. I would go get you some gauges. I, Gavin's behind the game, of course, all you, you guys know. I only have two gauges with with my turbo, compound turbo setup, I do not have to worry about EGTs. That's not even a worry to me, it won't get hot. It's not like I'm having, if I had a P-pump, I'd probably have it. But I have a TAC from S-Pro and a 100 pound boost gauge. Now, I do want a trans tip gauge, I do want a fuel pressure gauge. Which leads me to, that'll lead me to number five, but and number four, get you some gauges. You got to see what the tr you, this will help you troubleshoot. If something happens to the truck, that gauges could be your savior right there. So invest in some gauges. It can be expensive, but it is worth it. You will understand everything. And preventative maintenance. Obviously, this is a gimme. I'm not even going to count this because you guys should know this. On these trucks, there's a killer dowel pin that can fall into the gear what I don't know what it's called it can fall in there like pretty much grenade the motor so you should you guys should know that I shouldn't have to say that get you a killer dial pin kit that, that doesn't even need to be said you, you guys know that which leads me to number five which I don't have this is not a must uh, for unless you're I mean obviously it's gonna be a must if you're gonna keep get, jumping up in power and if you have a fuel pressure gauge, this is the only reason I probably don't have a, what I'm going to say, but a piston lift pump. Get you a lift pump that will support what you're, with the fuel that you need. So pretty much you can get a piston lift pump from the Hungry Diesel, but you can also make your own. 
There is a write-up from Justin Fonder, the guy that built my compounds, of a cheaper and easier way and way more cost-effective. Saves you like 150 bucks. All you gotta do is they're, they're, the spring that the Hungry Diesel uses on Amazon for like 12 bucks. You go and get your piston lift pump, put that spring in, you just saved yourselves instead of 300 something dollars, you're sitting at like 120, 140. So that's a big one. That's So get on, a big thing is get on Facebook. If you don't like Facebook, I'm sorry. Suck it up. Get on Facebook. Join the first gen groups. You will learn so much and you'll have, you, everybody will help you. The first gen community is unlike any other out there. So make sure you get on that. So what we went through, headlights. HX35 or HE351 if you want to go through the work. Uh, governor spring and fuel pin. Get you some gauges. And lift pump. That is the biggest biggest one. I will be getting a lift pump. Don't worry. Uh, you guys can say what you want about your fastener dog. That is fine. I'm. And whenever I get a common rail, I will have a fast or an air dog. On these trucks. If I'm going to drive this thing cross country, I'm not getting a fast or an air dog. Reason one, if you guys have a first gen, you guys know that they are electrical problems. The whole thing is just a big problem. And I'm not going to get an electrical lift. I just want a piston lift pump goes in the stock or the factory spot and can supply with what I need. Supply me with me, me with all the fuel. Now we can go into way more depth with this. You can get injectors. You can all that stuff and I mean it's easy you can do it yourself you I'll do I can do a how-to video there's plenty of them out there it's super easy but uh, that is my top five alright guys so little mess up my GoPro will only import to my laptop if it's like 12 minutes or less and that video was like 14 minutes so there's some important little parts that it left out but I stopped where it said these are my five top mods whatever uh, I did I left out injectors because the stock injectors will be fine with that turbo setup if you decide you don't want one of those things such as like headlights or something like that uh, you can grab a set of injectors pretty cheap for these trucks obviously and you can install them yourself there's tons of videos uh, for the, the turbo setup a 5x12 sack style injector will be perfect and it's you can clean them up really good make sure you don't do not get injectors from DAP they're dirty they run hot don't like them uh, I've got a set of diesel tough injectors right now that are actually bigger that burn cleaner than my 5x12s extremely happy with them they flow 70 LPM they're getting me all the fuel I need I would like to go up bigger in injectors if I sometimes but with an HX35 on the manifold I can't do that 5x12 is a good size, so if you're looking for recommendations for that, there you go. Uh, but yeah, this is just a little video. I'll, I'll maybe do some other ones. If you guys like it, let me know. Uh, just improvements for your first gen. If you need some advice, feel free to message me. It's no big deal. Hit me up on Instagram. Whatever. If you're needing advice on what setup to go on your truck and you don't know where to go, you can message me there's a lot of guys out there get on the first gen forums or first gen Facebook pages they'll fill you right in there's some guys that know more about first gens than I do about anything out there I mean it's insane so get on that uh, yeah my Instagram's at forged one gen feel free to hit me up if I'll let it, I'll let you guys know whenever there's upcoming meets stuff like that if you want to come hang out with the guys just give me a holler. I'll let you know where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. So, if you're stopping in for the first time, subscribe, like, comment. If you got opinions on what you would do, such as like intake, stuff like that, if you would want to add one of those to your top five, comment your top five below. I'd love to hear what everybody else's is, what you think's the best for these trucks. If you're going for looks, comment your looks, comment your performance upgrades, drivability upgrades, steering, whatever. Just drop those in the comments below, and thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time.